Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the start of a new a let's play um, called Pour to Brath. Pour to Brath? Yeah, I'm going to have to figure out actually what the um, codes are for that so I can figure out what it is. Uh, but basically uh, the uh, intention of this campaign is to start as Portugal, go for early exploration because you know, Portugal's set up for that, form a colonial colony in the Brazilian area. And I'm hoping to try and feed that as much as we can. And, but once it forms, play as it instead. Now, I don't know whether you can actually in game say, you know, I, I want to play as this person now. Uh, I, I know you can create vassals and then play as them, but whether you can sort of like swap to playing as a vassal, I'm not too sure. Uh, but of course, I'm not playing Iron Man because I never play Iron Man because I don't see the point. If something goes wrong, I need to be able to go back. I mean, like, you know, if the recording session is lost, save, like, saying to you guys, well, oh, sorry, uh, you know, five years of the game has now just disappeared. But by the way, we're here now. Instead of saying that, I like to be able to say, well, I'll write that off and play it again so that you guys have a continuous sort of, like, years thing or as best I can. Um, so, yeah, what we'll probably end up doing is loading up and then playing as a Brazil. Oh, and one thing I will say is I'm going to create a fleet uh, for the New World, and I'm going to end up giving that to the new Brazilian colony, if they accept. That's uh, one of the things I'm going to try and see. I'm, go I'm not going to let it go if the AI wouldn't purchase it themselves. But that's the incentive, anyway. Uh, so, so starting off, let's see. If I remember right... Oh, wait, wait, there's no music. There's no music because... Yeah, I've been trying to get this set up right. This is actually the first time round of recording this. Um, let's just say uh, problems over Christmas and hoping to fix now. Starting a new recording session and if if this is not the one that you end up actually hearing. And actually, I'm... Sorry, new install. Game options. Audio. Music down. Ambient will go down a bit. They keep the effects for now. Actually, no. No. Um, <laughs> I should have just done master volume down. Um, audio. Effects. Let's half the effects. Okay, that should be fine. Now, to be honest, guys, uh, if you're watch while you're watching this, uh, I'm going to have affected the audio post, so it's more a balancing issue between the music, the ambience, and my background. That's all that matters, because it records it to all one audio file, and then I mix that with a separate audio file for my voice, but... Yeah, uh, the starting of the game is just basically going to be uh, looking around, exploring, and then trying to um, you know, get the earliest setup for Brazil that we can do. And we don't start off with any colonists. Do we get an early colonist from our ideas? Colonial range. We don't get a colonist at all, so we get colonial range up, though. Uh, so at level 4, I'm probably going to go straight for exploration ideas, which will get us it. Um, I don't know if it will get let us reach. Now, if I remember rightly, Portugal is supposed to start off with leaders. Yes. Uh, we can support one leader. Yeah, so how many military points are we losing? Three. Well, you're a general anyway. You're not a conquistador. Conquistador would be a hat. So, Earl of Avrencia, or whoever the hell you are, we're going to dismiss you. I mean, you're a good guy, uh, but unfortunately, you're not really what we need. And I think we're going to dismiss this third guy and just have two exploring. Monthly increases currently at one, basis at three. Somebody's military skill will get in a plus or one on the base. So we're gaining one a month. and no, I don't think that's... Actually, no. That's fine. Uh, let's see, though. Uh, create a new fleet. Trade ships are quicker, I believe. Speed 10, speed 5, yeah. So let's split off three trade ships. Select this unit. Split in half, split in half. That's going to give me three little guys. Each are going to have a leader. 
<laughs> and why did I just unselect them? Now. Exploration routes. I think we send you down through Africa. That's not going to help us too much as Brazil, but I'm pretty sure everything that we have explored um, we will get when we play as Brazil. So try to explore a good bit to start with. You come to here and start heading towards... Wait, Diego? Diego? Mr. Is this Mr. Coaster on a different name? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, part of the reason why we're playing as Portugal and then playing onto Brazil is I know I have um, subscribers uh, I Portuguese descent of... Uh, actually, in Portugal as well, but I know there's some who are Portuguese living in the UK, just to confuse things even more. Uh, but... And I believe they've suggested... Oh, lots of people have suggested to play in Iberia before, and I haven't ever. Uh, so, yeah. Something to do. And I've also had people suggesting to try and play as Brazil, but Brazil didn't exist at the start of the game, and I thought instead of playing a late start date like I did for the 13 colonies, I would try this instead. So let's split these guys off going that way. I did actually play a quick test game um, when I was trying, well, uh, basically like a quick run through of this while I was trying to get the computer back set up after Christmas. Uh, but as Portugal, I basically took Ireland. <laughs> because... Yo, yeah, why not? Um, that's as far as I got. I really wouldn't mind getting Tangiers. And Melina. Yeah, but increased coring cost. So what is your actual coring cost? 120. To be honest, for Tangiers itself, I don't feel that's too bad. Uh, select a mission, improve our prestige. Form alliance with Castile. I think that's, you know, should be done straight away. No, not influence yet. Offer alliance. And I guess we get one with, I mean, diplomatic relations we have. One, we're going to have two, so let's go for three here. And would it be possible for Austria? Minus a thousand and eighty-four. Number of great power allies is actually going to go up, so yeah, it's not going to happen. Uh, so always a possibility, but I don't think we'll go for that just yet. Okay, so that's you guys sorting out. Disputed successions. I didn't believe there was that many at the start. That's quite a few. We probably should have actually done some more buildings. Very low military points anyway, so... I, no, actually, screw it. You should have forts. We'll build them because I'm not going to want to defend them that much because I don't really want to carry on playing as Portugal. <laughs> oh dear God, I wish I could breathe normally. I just want to, I uh, should probably point out that like, just getting over a cold so I can't breathe through my nose. And because I don't want to sound like a terrible mouth breather on the recording, I'm sort of not breathing, which is probably not the cleverest of ideas. Uh, stability or national tax modifier. Tax modifier will offset his cost a little bit, but 5% of... 5? So 1% would be... 0... A 5 here. So a quarter of a ducat. Um, compared to stability, which we probably aren't going to need. If we do want to buy stability, I'd rather it be cheaper. So yeah, let's get him. Uh, diplomacy, uh, level 2 is the lowest. And the military... More than likely we're going to be fighting on the defensive, so let's take morale. I don't plan to go to many wars as Portugal, although I might expand the buffer zone. Uh, once I know I have some reasonable, friendly allies. You guys should be setting off out. Okay, we've got our alliances there. We'll wait for them to come back, get royal marriages with them. Let's take speed up. I'm just trying to think, is there anything else I haven't done yet? Truce with Granada, unrest in Ceuta. Ceuta's this one, isn't it? It's not that much. But I'm going to increase in autonomy there because I don't really care all that much about it. We're not getting... It is our, our trade node, but it's not going to be doing, you know... Like everything for us at the moment, so you know, let's instead just not care about it and give us a little bit less. 
too few rivals. Um, obviously, we'll do Morocco back. And can I take Granada? No. Let's do Telencom and Tunisia. Just some nice easy ones, which, yeah, I might be able to fight, get a little bit of power projection, but it's not that much of a biggie. The main reason for power projection is going to be... Oh, the lines with Castile. Next mission, expand the buffer zone. Royal Marriage with Castile. It's a simple and easy one. Let's get that first. Our guy's back, so we can now talk to you. Actually, no, we have to wait a month, don't we? <laughs> of course we have to wait a month. Oh! Oh, wait, 14, 44, 12. Yeah. But could they send it to me? This is good news. We get something in the Azores. I can send it myself now. Aragon, again. Let's get Royal Marriage. I... Call to arms, I didn't expect you to call me in against the French. You didn't last time. Solidify paper relations, expand the buffer zone. That gets us... Crab. I don't want crab. So let's do the solidify paper relations and just, you know, set that slowly ticking up. I thought the buffer zone would have gave me Tangiers. You take an alliance? Well, let's ally with the Pope then. He's the Pope, man. And there's going to be relations next and just yeah, slowly tick on improve relations. Um, I'll accept. But France, I want you to know I'm not that keen on actually fighting, so just stay away, please. But where are you marching to? You are... Improving relations with England. You're improving relations with each other, English-wise. Okay, interesting. Pope man. Improve relations, there we go. Get that ticking up, try and complete that mission and see if we can't get a better one. Now you guys... Not letting me know when you arrive in new terrain. That's something, again, it is a new install, so let's see. Not menu. No, not menu. It's message settings, isn't it? I'm not going crazy, there is a message settings. Is it you? No, that's just to hide that. Um, just do a best guess. But now I want the actual... Is it just in here now? Oh, message settings. Yeah, I'm sure there used to be a bit on the UI to click. Um, combat other religious events, trade diplomacy. Go through all and... Di discover. Yeah, D-I-S. Sorry, my spelling is terrible. So I just googled... How to spell discover. There we go. Search. When someone is discovered. No. When a discovery spreads to me. Right, when we convert to point now. When someone co discovers us carrying out cover operation, no. Discovery spreads. No, I want the when I discover a new province. Um, fleet at Ives. When a nation grants fleet access, when a nation. It really seems to me like it's not putting in everything in there that could be. I mean, government, just clear in general. I'm gonna look through this off camera. Oh, so they actually make a difference. Uh, when someone discovers... Mm. 
no, it just doesn't seem like it's finding what I want. I don't really know what I'm looking... I, I know what I'm looking for. It's when I discover a new province. I thought that was already a pop-up and pause. Right, my flag is... This, a trade embargo. Really, I'm surprised that I want to pop up and pause by default. Okay, don't really know this new thing. <laughs> it used to be down here, it made sense to me. Anywho, let's just keep an eye on these guys and... If I have them all selected, I can see when they arrive. And they're the ones I'm more bothered about at the moment. So seeing them and dealing with them myself is a fine thing to do. You're moving on, you're moving on. You're still at 100%. Actually, that's something I need to pay attention to. The percentages of them, and I can't do that from this screen, so... Taking 7% damage at 90, 95... Okay, so at the moment they're all good. Next they arrive, I'll check them. That's 81. Okay. Best come home, and by home, I'm of course mean the Azores. You are probably good for another run. Actually, 81 again, so if you want to come back to the Azores. And you... I know there's one there. Okay, you've already arrived. Why didn't it show that? 90-something... Fine, carrying on moving you. Wait, I can click multiply in now. I thought that was a thing that was turned off and you couldn't do anymore. That's, that's two provinces in. I'm not meant to be able to see that, am I? Right, Benny, out of curiosity, fleet basing rights? As for fleet basing rights, no. Okay, I actually have a free a diplomat, so let's improve relations. With Benny and see if we can't get you know fleet basing rights before we need to dock up. In the meantime, you guys move on. How are you guys looking? You should have both docked up by now. 70 odd and 50 odd. Yeah, you definitely had to come back when you did. That's aromatic, sorry, for a minute I thought that was um Castile getting involved there, which could happen, you know. I don't doubt it would, but they might get dragged into the war. It's a shame I wasn't listed as a co-belligerent, but I guess I was already in the war before, you know, such things actually happened. And you're still not telling me when... Have you been there long enough to get fleet basing rights? You start heading back up here. You've got eight months to get back as the current situation is. No diplomat to send. Um, I'll come back from here then because you've done your job. 25 days. I think we have to risk you just sitting there. Diplomacy. As for fleet basing rights, you would say yes. I decided to grant. Oh, sorry, I, I saw the D word and I'm thinking denied? I. Uh, yeah, sort of like the, the noises that my head was making at that thought of it being denied. I'm like, I, you, you said yes. You said like a hundred percent yes. Okay, you're free to come back down and I'm obviously... Ah, no, this is where I should have tried crossing the ocean. So you... Actually come like this. Thanks, I think... That... Yeah, Brazil should be here. I went. I was a little bit too far north. One, I had the idea one was going north and one was going you know, south, uh, following the trade winds. In fact, if I'd put the trade map mode on, no, I was following. What I wanted to be following is this line here, which goes to the coast of Gambia. No, that is the coast of Gambia. Uh, tell me where you're going to. to the Caribbean. Oh, really? I'm sure there's meant to be a link from you. Oh no, this is the one that would be coming in from Brazil, I guess. 
Why does England have trade value in this node? How are you getting trade value in this node? It's not from ships, it's not from provinces. Transfers from downstream. Really? It goes this far? That surprises me. Ah, uh, but either way, are you... Oh, you're not even docked in yet. Okay, but you are resting. Next month, we'll send the other guy out. And I want to have um, Mexico discovered. I don't want to do anything as Portugal, but I want to have it discovered because that might be able to be the first thing that I do as Brazil in maybe uh, sort of like the, the to be Mexican states. Which I really like the idea of doing purely because it's not territory that I would get if, you know, Portugal carries on colonizing and stuff afterwards. I'm hoping that having a colonial nation that the AI will then consider, you know, colonizing the rest of Brazil for me and I can use my colonists to get other lands. You are still exploring and have a lesser Antilles, okay. You're getting a lot further deeper than what I thought you could. I'm thinking more like that must have taken your... I didn't... When did they bring back in that you can just click through? Um, why are there people here? Are there people in Brazil now? Didn't think that was a thing. I mean, natives by people. You know, I, I still consider them people, even if others don't. <laughs> but yeah. I didn't know that there was natives in Brazil. That could be quite an early start. Looks like there's only the one. So actually, what I'm going to have you do is... I know I could just set an explore thing, but... You know, a, a patrol, sorry. But, old school. <laughs> you are still happily... Oh, come on, select it. Yeah, you, you still have a route to go on. I'm sure I'm going to have to bring you a lot further south. No, uh, Honduras. Actually, how far south am I then, if that's... Now that's Haiti and the Dominican. Cuba. I hate when the map's not explored. It all makes sense when I can see the full map. But yeah, if that's Benzi. That in like um, Victoria two time is British, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Lots of little colonial nations and not just like the three big ones that they used to be. In my last campaign, my uh, new Rotterdam made a lots of money from a gold from Mexico. And I like the idea of my new colony doing the same. You... Around Florida then. And come back to the Azores. You, you, you're going to be hurting by that point. Okay, you have found them and you found somebody else who I believe is also in the Brazil... Uh, not simple terrain map mode. I want to be looking for colonial map mode. Yeah, this is all colonial Brazil. So change of plan now. Actually, will one of you give me fleet basing rights? You would. Uh, they have no ability to build ships. Wait, wait, wait what's your name? Portugal. If I very badly mangle that as a pronunciation, you could be Portugal. And you're a right-ish colour. This is where we're going to found Brazil from. <laughs> yeah, again, no fleet basing rights because you don't have the technology. So you do that and then... It's probably going to be quicker for you to come back here. Are you fully healed? You are? 
So let's get you exploring down around Africa. I, I, I know I just heard the timer. And by the way, I'm quietly annoyed that that timer's not the timer sound that it's meant to be. Um, it's the wrong noise. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube, that is all the time we have for today. Hopefully, hopefully uh, this recording is going to have gone fine. It'll be rendered. It'll be up. Um, if that's the case, it should be up and, uh, you know, publishing on the 10th. However, if the audio quality is terrible, if the codex has messed up again, if the audio is completely desynced from the recording, if it won't render, if the denoiser doesn't work, if the uh, dynamics processes don't work in post, if something goes wrong with the upload, I'll be recording it again. And so far, I have not been able to get a good episode out. I know this is actually the first take of this, so I'd be really, really, really surprised if it does and mess up. Uh, but I previously tried recording in my Factory episodes, which are about an hour long. So twice as long than realizing that they was complete and utterly wasted. Ah, yeah, but hopefully it's all is good. Uh, with it being the start of a new series, guys, if you could please like, comment, tell me anything you, um, you, know, you want to know about series, what you want to see happen for a start. It's, you know, because I'm... This is the start, this is where we're going to set all the plans. So if you really want to see something as we swap over to Brazil... That was one of the best times to let me know so that I'll know. And two, it's the start of the series. You guys know how YouTube works. Episode one is really, really important to try and get, you know, the likes, the comments, the activity, the view time watched uh, to help the series, you know, do well. So, even if you don't normally, say hi. I like saying hi back. I really like the comments. <laughs> Can you tell I haven't recorded in a while? <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as always, I'd like to thank you for watching, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to say goodbye. Goodbye.